Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code Zerg for 15% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have got the new heavyweight players currently in the game and I have to say I really really hope that EA keeps going with this and giving us you know the 88 overall players. For some reason I'm thinking that next week they're probably going to come back and drop maybe another batch of 87 and 86 because it's a little bit weird if they just continue to give us new and better 88 overall players every single week because with that way these packs just continuously get better. I feel like EA wants to balance it out somehow, so maybe next week the price of these packs will even get more expensive, but we'll continue to get 88 overall players. Not really sure how they're gonna do it. But in today's video, of course, we're we'll opening up some heavyweight packs, trying to pull these new heavyweights and showing you guys these heavyweights, but I do wanna say one thing. If we can get this video to 999 likes, 999, I will do later today. It's going to be an extremely expensive pack opening, so 999 likes is a good goal. I'm going to do 10 heavyweights and 10 flashback packs. We're going to take a look and see which of these packs are actually more worth it to do. If you guys get to 999 likes, I'm going to do 10 flashbacks and 10 heavyweight packs. So make sure you guys smack that like button and of course hit that sub button if you guys are not already subbed to the channel. I want to say thank you guys very much for all the support. My goal of course is to 100,000 subscribers this year. I think we'll be able to get it done as long as you guys keep showing support. And let me know down below what other videos you guys want to see from me over the course of the next couple of days. Of course if you uh, happen to live in Florida you may already know this but there is actually a hurricane currently heading our way. Uh, it might hit like Saturday afternoon so if we happen to lose power in Florida, then big rip. I'm gonna have to pre-record some videos for you guys and hopefully I have some videos ready for you guys uh, just in case something does happen. And hopefully, you know, maybe the power won't even go out. I don't know, it looks like a category one, so I'm not really sure exactly what's gonna happen with that. But let's also go ahead and do our weekly Elite Fantasy Pack. As you guys already know, Andrew Luck is currently in packs. And I'm also gonna be having my weekend league rewards out for you guys later today. I did actually get those yesterday so be gonna look up for that video as well uh but let's get this weekly league fantasy pack okay 81 we get ourselves an 80 overall yannick nagakwe and our coin quick sell 81 right 80 overall brian bulaga so the weekly league fantasy packs for me anyways have not been too hot we get a hot 18k there let's give me these heavyweight packs now in case you guys didn't know today's heavyweights are actually justin houston and marshall yonda so Interesting heavyweights, you're not as flashier, you know, not as flashy as the Flash backpacks, of course, with Deshaun Jackson and Joe Hayden, but Marshall Yonda and Justin Houston, I think Houston's stats are honestly kind of underwhelming. I'm very curious to see what Yonda's stats look like, though, as we get Yannick Nagakwe out of the very first heavyweight pack here, so I'm just going to go ahead, quick sell that man for 1,300 training. Of course, if you pull an 88 overall, you're making quite a bit of your training back. Of course, you're making a lot of profit there, as we get an 86 Patrick Ricard, so again, we're getting another heavyweight player there. Not exactly what we want to see. Okay, we that's a heavyweight player. Another 86, I meant. I want to see at least an 87. There we go. 87 overall, Joe Staley. Of course, quick sells for 1,860 training. You guys see his stats. Uh, currently, my left tackle is Anthony Munoz, so don't think I'll be using that Joe Staley anytime soon. I'm going to go ahead and just keep quick selling these guys until we end up getting ourselves both of these new 88 overall pulls, or at least hopefully I can actually get one here. As we get ourselves 87 Rodney Hudson. I think Hudson's actually going for a good amount of coins because right now Matt, uh, Matt Burke's like the best center of the game. So I think I might hold on to that Rodney Hudson because I'm pretty sure he's like very expensive. I think also Joey Bosa is a pretty expensive heavyweight pull as well. So we haven't pulled him. Might hold on to him as we get Cameron Hayward. I know Cameron Hayward is not very good. And it seems like I've seen a lot of people open just like regular packs every single time. And even myself, I pulled Cameron Hayward out of regular packs. I don't understand it. We get an 86 overall, Ali Marpert. They're going to go ahead and quick sell that one as well. So far, these uh, headway packs have not been too good. On to the next headway pack here. We're going to get 86 Cameron Hayward again. Really? Okay, let's let's back out real quick, right? Let's back out. Let's go check the auction house. Let's see if these two new headways are going to be up. If they're not, 
We'll come back over to PAX. Give us some time, you know, maybe, maybe the PAX just need a little cool down real quick, and maybe they'll be a little bit better. Also, we can take a look here at the prices. So, yeah, Cameron Hayward was a good idea to quick sell. He's 63,000 coins right now. Uh, besides that, we did just get the center. It looks like Rodney Hudson about 85k, so that's not bad. And let's see. So, I don't think they're going to be. I'm pretty sure they're 88s. I know for a fact Justin Houston is. I'd imagine uh, Marshall Yan is an 88 as well. It looks like neither of them are actually currently up. And let's get back into these packs. We do have enough training to do like three more packs. So, you know, hopefully we can at least get one of these guys. On to the next heavyweight pack here. 87 Joey Bosa. I'll take the Joey Bosa. You guys already know stats. 1860 training. And of course, 91 finesse move with 75 speed. That's a really good left end. For an 87 overall, that's one of the best you can get in terms of, I guess, just how good the card is for the overall as we get 87 Rodney Hudson again now of course we do kind of have to quick sound because we're running low on training a little bit here so let's get into the next training heavyweight pack here can we actually get the 88s please 88 86 Yannick Nagakwe again okay so that's 1300 training we're down to 3100 training if we don't end up getting ourselves a 88 overall pull here. We're going to be out of training and doing all these packs. I spent a lot of training to get these packs as we get 87 overall Joe Staley right there. And we're going to get right back into them. I just want the 88s, man. Just give me Justin Houston or Yonda. One of the two. Yannick McGaugh. Okay. So we are down now to a few more packs here. If we don't end up getting ourselves an 88, we're going to run out of training here. What do we get? Okay, 86 Linval. We're now down to 2300 training. I will tell you guys this right now, I spent like probably 700k last night, right? Getting a bunch of training for this video, and this is how they're repaying me with 86 overall players. Okay, this is probably going to be the final heavyweight pack. If we don't end up getting an 87 or 88, this is going to be the final pack here. We get ourselves. 88 Justin Houston. There we go. 88 Justin Houston. So now let's go ahead and compare him. He has 78 speed. With 82 acceleration, 80 strength, 85 tackling, 90 play rank, 83 block shed, 86 power move, 75 finesse. So this is an 88 versus an 88, of course. His strength is not very high, but he does have pretty dang good speed and excel for an, for a right end anyways. Uh, there is also, who's the other right end? Dwight Freeney, I think, just came out for the Colts, I'm pretty sure. Was it Dwight Freeney? Yeah, I think it's Dwight Freeney. Uh, but the block shed's an 83, power move's an 86. It's a solid looking card. Uh, Catching's going to be a 41, which is actually pretty good. Let's take a look here at the hit power, though. And it looks like Justin Houston has an 88 hit power. Wow. Okay. That's actually pretty dang good. So Justin Houston is not a bad card at all. I mean, it's not bad for an 88 overall card. You could say that this card is very, very comparable to Aaron Donald. Of course, the speed is kind of the big difference there. The tackling player, but block shed, power move, finesse move, all those go to Aaron Donald. I'd still rather take Donald over to Justin Houston, but that's 2,570 training. So he just made a good amount of our training points back. Let's go ahead and get into the next pack here. Can we pull Marshall Yonda right now? I'd love that. Ali Marpet. Okay, close enough. You know, it's a guard, but it's not a right guard. On to the next heavyweight pack. Let me get Marshall Yonda because I think he's going, he's probably going to go for a good amount of coins, right? Okay, 86 Patrick Ricard, and this is going to be the final heavyweight pack if we don't end up pulling Marshall Yonda or Justin Houston or an 87. Who do we get? 87 Joey Bosa. I'm going to quick sell him. I know he's going for a decent amount of coins, but I'm going to quick sell him so we can do one more pack here. I don't even know how many heavyweight packs we've done. We've done a crap ton of heavyweight packs, though. 86 Ali Mar. Okay, so unfortunately, that's going to be the final pack there. We ended up pulling Justin Houston, but now let's go ahead, check out the auction block, and see what these cards are looking like. And I have to do 10 heavyweights, 10 flashbacks later today. It is going to be bad. It is going to be real bad. So let's go and take a look here at the heavyweights. 88 overall, Justin Houston. How much is he going for? Because I imagine someone else probably pulled him too, right? Yeah, so Justin Houston's 249k. He's not going to sell for that much. Marshall Yonda, though, for 189, could he sell for that much? Possibly. Uh, he actually has pretty good stats. I mean, 87 strength. That's pretty solid. 89 awareness, 85 pass blocking, 87 pass block power with an 84 pass block finesse. He does have 87 run block, 88 run block power, and an 85 run block finesse. So very, very comparable to Leon. The big question, though, is speed. Okay, so not as good. 56. He does have a 60 agility, though, with a 75 excel. So it's actually better excel. Does not as good max speed. Uh, let's take a look at, say, his lead block. What's the lead block going to be on an impact box in 86? Okay, so... 
Again, pretty close there. And the lead block is going to be 74. So not that great, honestly. Uh, if you're looking for a right guard, right? So marching down is 189 currently. I don't think he's going to be that much uh, at the end here. But if we take a look at right guards, how much? Like, what's the price difference between Marshall Yonda and Larian? Larian's actually 180. Right, and then you have Adam Timmerman, which in my opinion, probably not as good as say Larry Allen. So if you're looking to get a right guard, personally, I just like to run the ball a little bit more. So that's why I like Larry Allen uh, with a lead block, with a run block and everything. I'd say Larry Allen's probably the best right guard right now between Adam Timmerman, Marshall Yon, and Larry Allen. I would probably rather go with Allen. But with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe and comment. Like I said before guys, 999 likes, I'll do 10 heavyweights. 10 flashbacks, boy, that's going to be something. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys next time.